right, hey everybody, um, I'm with Helene and she's gonna show us her home and can you tell us about your vehicle? It's a Dodge Ram B2500 with a high top. Um, it's nothing spectacular. I added a solar panel on top, which I guess is the only addition. Um, 150 watt Renogy that goes into a Yeti Go 0400 that runs my Dometic refrigerator. And then I use my individual solar panel to recharge battery packs that I use for my cell phone and my tablets. Okay. Well, you want to show us your lovely home? I'll show you inside. Um, this is my baby. Her name is Utopia. Oh, nice. I tried to add a lot of color. Um, I decided to do the curtains where they go around the front to keep a wide open space and so I have access to the refrigerator. If it gets really cold at night, I have a tension rod and I'll hang a wool blanket across here to help hold the heat in. So we really didn't do any changes in the front. Um, I'm not a builder, so I brought a lot of prefab things. Um, I have this metal shelf here that has drawers in it and I use these um, Walmart drawers for storage. And I have this one that I store my food in. I did make my own spice rack that I'm very proud of because we like to cook. And this is... No, no, no. You can't glaze over that. Tell me about the spice rack. <laughs> <laughs> my spice rack I did with um, test tubes, different sizes of spices we, le we use the least. I put down to the bottom and smaller ones and then the ones we use the most. This is actually the foam that you use when you make flower arrangements. Great idea. Yeah, because obviously I can't build, so I just <laughs> drilled little holes in there and shoved them in there and kept turning them until they fit and yes. covered it with some fabric. I can't sew either, so it's taped on there, but it's wonderful. That is um, great idea. This is like just my kind of junk storage, different things I use. I didn't know what you might ask. Mm. Like this is what I use to wash with. These are absolutely amazing. Epic wipes. Okay, let me get a closer. Oh, they open up really large. Maybe we can take okay. it outside later and you can get a better look. Nice. Um, and this is my Go Girl holder. Oh, okay. I don't need to show you that, but no, that's what I use the Go Girl in the bottle. Um, this actually is used for heat. I just saw a video on this. Yeah, on I really, really like it. Nice. And yeah. Those are candles for anyone. There are candles in there, yes, ma'am. Um, and then cups, paper towel. This is my essential oil burner. Yeah, it smells great in here. Yeah, it's, they say peppermint is good for mice. They don't yeah. like it, so yeah. I just burn the peppermint. And it's USB, so I just plug it into a USB power source. Oh, nice. I try to keep everything rechargeable. Right. Um, this is my sink that I love. I put this on top so it could be another place to st put stuff. Right. I keep the bucket in there to put the water in. But the sink is really simple. It's 4D batteries in there. It gives me really good water pressure. She's a gadget girl, y'all. And I use Brana's soap to keep everything natural. Right. Yeah. So what is this battery pack that comes with the... It comes with all that, right? Yes, it comes with oh, all of that. And so it's just a Zodi, is that mm -hmm. it? Bob actually has an excellent video on it. Oh, nice. So that was great. And it's really easy. Nice. Um, do you want to see the sink system? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. <clears throat> this was a cedar chest. That he oh. just cut a hole in the top and put the sink in there for me. Great idea. And this is my gray water and this is my clean water. And then nice. you see I have storage. I yeah. cut some bags and put trash yeah. bags and storage in there. Nice. Yeah. Perfect, simple, yet functional setup. Yeah, it's really, really easy. And I wanted yeah. smaller water containers yeah. because I didn't want to have to carry a lot. Right. And those hold how much? They hold two and a half gallons. And I have two extra ones in the back with water for here. Okay. Yeah, so I travel with three clean waters, the one I have in here and the two in the back. Got it. And yeah. where did you get them? I ordered them from Amazon. They're okay. water bricks. Water bricks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good to and know. And you could actually hook them up and put a spout on it and just actually just use a brick. Oh. But I like them because they're narrow right. and they take up less space. Right. Yes. These are my homemade window coverings, which I'm still working on. Okay. <laughs> Everything's always a work yeah. in progress in a van. And it's a tiny little bit of storage under here because I still have the actual van bed. Okay. So So for those that don't know, a conversion van, the right. van, the back seat lays flat. So this mm -hmm. is the actual back seat that came with the van, right. but it's just not very high mm -hmm. or functional. So I found these on HSN mm -hmm. and they're wonderful. So I can store things. So these are my, I label different things I have in there, like you'll see, mm -hmm. which helps a lot for storage. Right. 
and then I just use the plastic containers to put different things in right. and everything's labeled so I know so what I'm looking for. It's so neat and organized though. It's such a small space. I think I would go crazy if it wasn't. Oh, right. and here's the Yeti 400. Okay. I don't know if you can get a good shot. It's Do I need good. To? No, it's good. Okay. I can see it. And I have that's... an extra battery chain to it, but I put that under. Okay. So we won't be able to see that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I put it in the back. Okay. So it wouldn't take up space. Right. And is this your little bedside table kind yes. of? Actually, that was my original spice rack. I had larger little um, spice. Oh. But since I don't need that because I'm not on right. the road that long, right. I said I really would like to have a table to put my junk on. Right. And are they Thank drawers you. or are you just reach They're it? actual drawers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great idea. Full of junk. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a great idea. Yeah. Use what you already have. You don't always have to go buy new stuff. Yeah. And then I keep my lights there for if we're going to be outside. Right. Yep. And then my lighting system, yeah, I guess I should have mentioned that while it's you were okay. in here. No, no, no. It's the BioLite Lantern. I think it's called a base lantern. Mm -hmm. So these little lights actually chain in the side of it. Oh. And I control them by a button that's on this side. Mm -hmm. So I can turn them off. Mm -hmm. On, they'll dim. Look at that. Yeah. That's cool. And then and how many one. little lights does it come with? It's a chain of four, and if you look right there, that orange part is where they're put together. So I have two. Oh, you have two fours. Right, so okay. I did four on this side and four on this side. Oh. My favorite artist on the wall. Oh. I can't skip it. I have two we of her. Saw I have her two of hers. In Atlanta. Oh, nice. She's amazing. She is amazing. I she stalk is. her Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and this turns the power on and off, and then it does colors and all of that. Well, that's, that's a really it's, good... It's USB um, powered, so yeah. I would charge it, and you could actually power your phones and stuff from these two USB ports on the side. Okay. So it comes out being... And again, that's something we brought from camping. Okay. And I took the speakers out and just added storage. Oh, perfect idea. I can't sew, so I actually cut this fabric mm -hmm. and then cut the ribbon and... What do you call that? Tape? Uh, oh, the iron-on yeah, stuff? the iron-on tape to trim oh. it so it wouldn't look like that. Right, right, right. And then these are baskets. This is actually my water storage. We, what do I you... like to use glass you... water bottles. I don't oh, like um, plastic. I see. I see. So I have four um, for drinking four glass water bottles here. I see. Okay. And we just refill those. Got it. I think glass is much better than okay. plastic to store your water in, especially if you're going to be in a hot environment. Right. And this is all, this is just slightly smaller than a full, right? The bed? Yeah, it's yeah. slightly full. Just, small just slightly full. smaller. Okay. Yeah. But comfortable? Very comfortable. I put a four inch memory. Yeah, it's nice I can to show have you the junkie garage. back if you like. The garage. Everybody's garage is junky. <laughs> <laughs> let's go see the garage. <laughs> this is the restroom. Oh, yeah. Let's. If, do you want to venture? <laughs> well, let me see. You have a, so you have it's the really Campla. Like a shower tent, right? Is right. it considered a shower tent? Mm -hmm. But most people always put their toilet in it yeah. as well. Two gallon bucket system rather than the five gallon. I just didn't need anything that big. Okay. And it's just um, sawdust. Fortunately, okay. it is clean. Okay. The cedar yep, things. It. Yeah. Yep. Nice. And then and I is keep... the sawdust in the big yeah. one? Yeah. The, um... This is vinegar water I use for cleaning and oh, spraying, yeah. and then I keep alcohol in here too. But all the bags and the cedar stuff are all in here. Okay. And then once we're finished, I put a um, put it in Ziploc bags too. I'll just fix that later. Right. Yeah. And then I keep my little bathroom thing up here. So that's it. Yep. Very nice. Yeah, it took a little getting used to, but it's really it's not hard at all. It's Be not. Be careful right here. Yeah. And you have a little pop tent or a little yeah. tent. What do you use this one for? Um, just extra storage. It's oh, probably okay. super junky. Just no, it's fine. You don't have to open it. Okay. Yeah, that's what my tent ends up yeah. being. Now this is the wool blanket that I hang to the back window if it's cold. Oh, okay. But it came in handy because these baskets are all open topped. So oh. the dust was really bad. So once I cleaned it out, I said I'll drape the basket over. I mean, like it over it. Yeah. To keep the dust out. Smart idea. other two gallons fortunately oh, okay. they fit together so oh they lock the together front, they right? have like locking together. wheels i mean locking holes mm -hmm. channels okay so and that is in the front water brick just so we can see it mm -hmm. okay then it's storage under there behind that bin um is my battery the extra oh, okay. battery Got yeah it. 
And that's my extra Harbor Freight wool blanket. Okay. And the storage in here and okay. just stuff for the car under there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the tarp. Um, this is just storage too in different cook systems. I have about three different ones from camping. Okay. But it's just mainly storage. But you can see it's not a lot of room up under here. Right, because of the metal frame. Yeah. <clears throat> so eventually yeah. I'll take the bed out. Right. And I built this board to give me more space on top. That's what I have the baskets right. on. And that was a great idea because you have double decker storage yeah. kind of stuff you access all the time. Fortunately, and... you can't see my work on <laughs> this board. Hey, <laughs> it, that, all that matters is does yeah. it work? <laughs> it is, yeah, is it functional for you? The beautification of it doesn't necessarily matter. <laughs> I'm still trying to master my screen system. Oh, okay. um, I did magnets, I did Velcro, I did everything. Mm. But I'm still working on that. So. Okay. Hopefully by the summer I'll get that figured out. Okay. Okay. Anything? Uh, this piece, I thought I had a leak, so I just put this piece of construction paper across here, kind of, mm -hmm. um, just in case. Oh, okay. But other than that, she's just dirty. <laughs> yeah. But she's very comfortable. Um, when it gets cold, I heat her with a Wave 3 heater. Okay. Um, I have the propane tank. Um, that's all in there because it hasn't been cold enough to use it yet because it makes everything so hot. Right. Um, other than that, um, those are the things I use for cooking mainly. Okay. The one bird of butane stove. All right, you want to show us that? Mm -hmm. So I use the one burn of butane stove mm -hmm. or I use the BioLite. I have the older version of the BioLite. And here, since you can't use scrap wood, yeah, I bring my own wood in. Perfect. And then in the morning when I boil my coffee, I fill this with hot water. This is my hot water for the day. For so washing hot. my face, or washing dishes, or everything. Yeah. Oh, nice. So that's about it. Well, thank you for sharing your home with us. Oh, thank it was you amazing. It's I I am so impressed. Oh, my gosh, thank you. <laughs> um. So, are you full time? Are you part time? Uh, are you um, just weekend warrior? I'm a weekend warrior. Okay. Right now. D, but you I'm do, with work. and so when you're done working, you're like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> Hopefully I should have everything figured out exactly the way I wanted any adjustments I've had to make. Yeah, get all the bills paid up and hit the road. Oh, that is so awesome. Another sister on the road, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for sharing your home with us. Thank you thank so, you so much, much for asking. Bye.